Order for the Honourable Member from Macquarie. Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise today on the opening to speak on the opening of the Hazelwood Early Childhood Centre in the electorate of Macquarie in the Blue Mountains. Located in one of the many beautiful areas of the Blue Mountains in Hazelbrook, I had the great pleasure of opening this long-awaited project on Thursday, the 10th of July, as both the federal member and also representing the Assistant Minister for Education, the Honourable Susan Lay. The Hazelwood Early Childhood Centre was a vision that, was planned, that has been planned for some time and will provide a home for the passionate and committed Hazelwood teachers to continue their important work of delivering quality childcare in a most important stage of life. The pre-existing childcare centre, now 32 years old, had 38 places and needed to expand to provide extra places to service the needs of Hazelbrook and Mid-Mountain families. Indeed, many Mid-Mountain families need to travel off the mountain to access employment. Teacher Miss Lisa Nielsen has been with Hazelwood all that time and will celebrate 32 years this month. And I congratulate and thank her for her outstanding commitment. Hazelwood's first thoughts went to expanding their current site, but it soon became clear the better option was to rebuild a new facility, but there weren't many options available. Sadly, the owner of the home next door, Mr Houston, passed away, and with that, negotiations began between the Houston family to purchase the property. There were many battles to be fought, but with their determination, their dream has come to fruition. Director of Hazelwood Early Childhood Centre, Lil De Bono, at the opening described how the children peered, had been peering over the fence in awe to watch their new childcare centre being built, which gave the children a great sense of ownership and pride. Childcare requires a safe, secure and suitable environment for children. Of course, parents and carers provide the first, most significant education for a child. But childcare in all its forms and variety is usually the first organised learning environment children encounter and it's crucial to them achieving success in their future education. Whilst learning is paramount with wisdom, you can have wonder and the new, and the new facility Hazelwood offers is an amazing environment for children to learn, discover, develop, grow and experience in their early years. With that in mind, I must acknowledge JDH Architects and their architect, Jane Harrison, <coughs> for the incredible design, which is a state of the art, uh, never been built before, which has been built to accommodate children of all abilities. This means that many parents with children with a disability will be able to access local childcare without having, having to travel a distance. Teamwork can accomplish great things, and Hazelwood Early Childhood Centre is indeed an example of such collaboration between the Federal Government, the Blue Mountains City Council, Connect Child and Family Services. The Federal Government committed more than $2 million for the project. The Blue Mountains City Council committed $700,000. And through complementary roadworks, the New South Wales State Government's roads and maritime services contributed to the approximate value of $100,000. I thank the State Member for the Blue Mountains, Rosa Sage, for her advocacy. In addition to providing a purpose-built state-of-the-art facility, Hazelwood will now offer 52 places which will help the working needs of families in Hazelbrook and the Mid-Mountains area close to home and, of course, help them to assist the work-life balance. I would like to acknowledge those who played a part in making Hazelwood a reality. The councillors and staff of the Blue Mountain City Council, both past and present, in particular Councillor Chris van der Clay, who fought many of the battles over successive years. The Blue Mountain's Mayor Mark Greenhill and General Manager Robert Greenwood, CEO of Connect Child and Family Services Dr Diane Jackson and General Manager Dee Hod Hod Hodgden. I'd also like to acknowledge the Director of Hazelwood Childhood Centre, Lil De Bono, successive representatives of the people of Macquarie. Uh, all of us together have worked and lobbied for this project to reach completion. The New South Wales State Government's Roads and Maritime Services, Jane Harrison Architect, JDH Architects, Connect Board members and friends of Hazelwood, including members of the Hazelbrook Association. And uh, in conclusion, but certainly not the least important, 
are the teachers, parents and the children of Hazelbrook.